In order for the public to best understand canine influenza, we really should think about influenza in humans as far as understanding how the disease works. Canine influenza, in fact, is caused by a virus, a subtype that is actually in the same family as human influenza A viruses. Canine influenza is uh, of fairly recent origin within the canine population. As I say, the first isolate of this particular virus occurred in, in uh, March of 2004. We were faced with the situation of, we have influenza virus in a dog, it's never been there before that we knew about. What were the animal and our human health uh, implications of that? So I made a decision at that point in time to actually forward the virus down to the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, and they rapidly sequenced the virus to tell us what the origin of it was and what, it, what its fingerprint looked like, and uh, that, that was a major find. What we do know is that this virus apparently mutated, changed through time from a horse virus, influenza virus, to one that affects dogs. We believe that this infection started among racing greyhounds in Florida. It's very similar to a lot of the other upper respiratory diseases that we find in dogs and it can be a uh, soft cough, it can be some nasal discharge, they can get lethargy, a fever, um, some dogs require hospitalization if they can uh, develop a pneumonia afterwards. Good girl. The easiest way to prevent exposure is to prevent animal exposure, but we all know that that's not really going to happen. So what can we do to try to limit your dog's exposure? One way that we can do that is by uh, vaccinating our pets, and we do have a, a canine influenza virus vaccine that has come out now. So we always ask people if their dog has been sick recently, and then we look for sneezing, coughing, vomiting, lethargy, irregular bowel movements, not being interested in water or food. If I have a dog that just stays at home, never comes in contact with other dogs, my dog is safe. I don't need to worry about it. I don't need to go out and, and even get it vaccinated. However, if my dog goes to doggy daycare, if my dog goes to, let's say, a yes. training camp, Sit. or maybe even to a veterinary yeah. clinic, or some other place where animals congregate, dogs congregate, then the chance of exposure increases. In that case, I should get my dog vaccinated. On a scale of one to ten, one being not so bad disease to ten being really, really bad disease that may kill, it fits down near one or two. Not likely to kill. Most will be sick for a couple of weeks and get over it, just as we humans do when we get the flu bug. We don't probably want to talk to anybody during that time, and I imagine the dogs don't either.